Today, Wizards of the Coast announced a new secret lair that is actually partnering with Riot Games. Riot Games, if you don't already know, is a publisher of the biggest game of the last decade, especially in esports, League of Legends. They also published their own card game called Legends of Runeterra. I highly recommend it. So what is this secret lair? There's actually two secret lairs, but only the first one has been revealed. This one has a hex tech sort of theme, which I'll explain a little bit later. But there are four cards being shown in this secret lair. Counterflux, Path to Exile, Thran Dynamo, and Rhystic Study. But they don't all have those names because they received the Godzilla treatment where they have new names for existing cards that are just alternate names to allow them to kind of branch out of the flavor of Magic the Gathering. So what is Arcane? Arcane is the Riot Games Runeterra TV show. That means it takes place in the world of Runeterra, which is the world that League of Legends, Wild Rift, Legends of Runeterra all take place on. But it's its own contained story. It's also really good. Uh, I will say that if you have not watched Arcane yet, there's six of the nine episodes out right now. The final three episodes are coming out this weekend. You should absolutely watch it. Uh, this is an adult animation. It is not for kids. It is great. It's well written. It's well acted. It's well animated. And it also has nothing to do with the game League of Legends. So if you do not like League of Legends... That is fine. Go watch Arcane because it's a good show. So these four cards feature art from Arcane. I'm going to kind of go through them, and I'm also going to talk about the characters and what they mean in terms of Runeterra. And if you do not want spoilers about anything on Arcane, great. I've shown you the four cards. You can go wait for the secret layers to be published and go buy them. Or you could go watch Arcane and then come back, watch the rest of this video. Wonderful. So let's talk about the four cards. So the four cards feature three different characters, which are champions from the game League of Legends. Um, these are prominently just two characters in a start. It really focuses on their story, and it's the uh, Hextech characters, the, inve the inventors of Hextech, Jace and Victor. So... Jace is a man who is very smart and comes from a middle-class equivalent family and is able to rise through the ranks using his inventive abilities and his well-spokenness. He is very much an entrepreneur. Victor, however, is trying his best to come from nothing and stay in the shadows to achieve greater science. He is much more focused in the expansion of knowledge and of technology than he is in making money. He wants to make the world a better place, but Jace and Victor's philosophies differ. This is not something that's been touched on that much in the show yet, but in League of Legends lore, Jace wants to use his inventions to better people's lives in a very hands-off kind of way, Victor believes that technology should be used to improve people from the inside, very much um, changing them. There's a lot of augmentation getting to the point where people are best when they don't have autonomy and really just replacing people with machines, which is very not cool. I don't think they're getting into that that much in Arcane. I think they're reworking the characters a little bit. Uh, in fact, they've actually made Jace a much deeper character as well. He's no longer the goody-goody paladin type. He's more of a corrupt businessman, which gets very, interested, very interesting in the show. So on these four cards, we have Jace's Trial on Path to Exile. So... Path to Exile is probably the best piece of removal ever printed in Magic the Gathering, especially at one mana. Great reprint to have. So what's happening in this card? This card shows Jace's trial. Jace was found trying to turn magic into technology, harness the arcane for machines, for experimentation. There was a resulting explosion which caused his research to be shut down, and it was going to be destroyed. Uh, he was put on trial, and his family actually came forward and said, My son isn't well. He's not in his best mind. 
he cannot be trusted to continue this project. That is what's happening here. You can see in the flavor text, Jace House, you are accused of illegal experimentation and engendering the citizens of Piltover. Going in chronological order within the show, the next one would be Unstable Harmonics. The Hex Tech technology has been rescued from where it was going to be destroyed by Victor and Jace, and they managed to complete the project, stabilize the magic, and they've broken into a new world. This is not like a new dimension. It is very much like we can now channel magic through these runes, which we control not as magic users, but as people harnessing technology. It's very much the harnessing of magic as technology. It feels very is it, which makes sense here. Um, at this point, it's very much a moment of discovery. So Unstable Harmonics being Ristic Study is very meaningful to me because it means that I don't have to use the original art of Ristic Study, which was made by Therese Nielsen. Uh, there's now a new art of Ristic Study. That's great. Uh, this card is super expensive also. It's so hard to get an actual copy of it. And currently the only legal art alternate art of it, I believe, is the Judge promo, which good luck getting your hands on that. So now we're getting a new Ristic Study. It's been retitled to be Unstable Harmonics, uh, showing these two characters, Jason Victor, floating in the air just by the sheer power of their creation. You can see everything in the room is spinning around I think that they could have kept the original name of this, but I do like the new name, Unstable Harmonics. And they have a quote, I believe I discovered a, something truly incredible, a way to harness magic through science. I believe that is Jace speaking to Heimerdinger, who is a yordle. Let's not get into yordles. If you don't know what those are, they're little fuzzy guys. Ristic Study, auto-include in so many different EDH decks. Great card. Happy to see it. So moving forward, again, chronologically, with this Secret Lair bundle, we have Counterflux. Counterflux shows the explosion at the cannery in the story of Arcane. This is when Powder, uh, the woman you see flying through the air, she's a young girl. Um, she grows up into the young woman Jinx, but this is Powder here. Powder has harnessed somebody else's technology for what she thought was good and done something very bad. She took the unrefined hex tech, which was stolen from Jace's laboratory, and used it to create a bomb. She thinks she's using this bomb to save her sister, her father, and her friends. She actually kills them, um, and I think it's actually very, very meaningful to what's on this card. This spell can't be countered. This explosion can't be stopped. And for the overload, you stop everything else. You counter all the other spells. You don't just blow up the bad guys who are attacking your family. You blow up your family. You blow up the building. You blow up everything. And for a moment, it felt like what you did was right. And then you see your sister outside over the supposed corpse of your father. And you realize what you did was not so good, Powder. That's where she gets her name, Jinx. It's the, uh, the last thing her sister says before her sister is imprisoned. Her sister is Vi, if you've ever seen her. She's the one with the big hands. And Jinx is adopted by a sort of sinister man. So moving on to the next card. This one is a little less interesting. It is the Thran Dynamo, retitled as the Hexcore. This is the evolving magic of the Hextech combined with an organic seed, in this case, Victor's blood, to create magic which evolves on its own. The power of the arcane too often finds itself in the hands of the foolish enough to think themselves its master. This is a way of making magic even more powerful in its hextech form. Heimerdinger, the advisor to Jace and Victor, tells them to stop. They, it tells them that this is dangerous, that this type of magic 
will cause something horrible. And when they experiment with this magic, they find it does great things, and then it causes things to die and they're gone. I don't see that much of the flavor here with the Hexagore, but I definitely do see it as a grand power source. It is the seed of a greater technology. So this is the Hexcore, which is created, uh, I want to say, in episode five or six of Arcane. So these are the four cards that are in the first of the secret layers, and you can tell I'm very excited about them by how much I'm talking about them. And again, I do urge you to go watch Arcane if you haven't yet. Um, these are going to be sold for $30 for non-foil and $40 for foil, according to the GameSpot article, which spoiled them, which I think is a fair price for these four cards, considering that just one of them, Ristic Study, already sells for around $30 for its original art. If you're a fan of the show, I think that this is going to be a great tie-in to see things come together. And I also am just so excited that Riot is working with Magic, because these two companies have created games that have consumed a very large portion of my life at this point, and I have an unhealthy dedication to them. That said, Ruined King, surprise, came out yesterday. Seriously, they didn't announce it or anything, it was just out. And I bought the collector's edition immediately. It's just, it's really cool. It's really cool. The game's good too, it's a turn-based RPG. This has nothing to do with the secret lair. I'm just, I'm just talking about Riot stuff now. Anyway, I'm about to go fly to California to watch the final three episodes of Arcane premiere live at Undercity Nights. That's actually why I'm taking a mini stream vacation. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to see these cards and I hope that the other cards revealed in the other secret lair are just as great as these. Thank you for listening to me rant about dumb nerd crap. Bye.